Hello everyone, welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business's performance. Our webinar today is entitled, Experience How SAP Product Lifecycle Costing 2.0 Supports Design to Cost and Profitability. Today's webinar will present a review of the SAP Product Lifecycle Costing Solution, which is powered by the SAP HANA platform. You will learn how your company can calculate costs quickly and precisely, and simulate and compare alternatives to gain better visibility and control throughout the product lifecycle. My name is Ralph Davis, Marketing Manager at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our webinar, let me briefly, before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. All right, uh, welcome also from my side here. Thank you for attending today's uh, session here on product lifecycle costing 2.0. Um, in order to kick off this uh, presentation, just a, a quick recap, um, as was elaborated by, um, by Ralph already, I will uh, dive into some of the challenges and the use cases that our solution uh, uh, relates to and uh, also the focused industries that we are uh, looking at when we talk about this uh, solution today. Um, as I said, I will dive into the key capabilities of the solution together with uh, Dave then um, to, to also showcase some of the new capabilities and also the existing capabilities uh, for those uh, uh, companies that have not seen the solution yet. We wanted to give that uh, uh, opportunity as well in this session. And uh, to close at the end, uh, we definitely will have uh, a summary and obviously uh, we very much uh, uh, would be appreciating any questions that we can answer related to what we introduced uh, today. So let me first of all uh, come to the introduction and the challenges that we see uh, when it comes to early costing. This is the picture that we typically use for, for that introduction and it really depicts the problem that most of the clients have today when it comes to early cost estimation in uh, the R&D phase. Typically, we have quite a few stakeholders involved, uh, obviously engineering. Um, there are different types of engineering, right? So the design engineers, which are designing the different artifacts, the different uh, modules and assemblies and the end product that uh, you want to calculate. Uh, you have the manufacturing engineers involved. Uh, they are contributing with all the inputs that are needed for manufacturing the product. So what are the equipments that, uh, that are going to be used? What are the different operations that, will, uh, that this product will go through uh, when it comes to manufacturing the product in-house? Um, what are the different times spent on these operations and so on? All of this is typically done in uh, in concert with uh, controlling to some extent because controlling very much cares about the cost and owns also some of the um, financial data as it relates to manufacturing activities, right? So here controllers, typically product cost controllers, uh, project controllers and so on are involved and contribute with uh, some of the artifacts that are needed for the costing exercise. And very much so, we have procurement or supply chain operations, people involved, depending on uh, how much things are being outsourced versus in-house manufactured, uh, that need to work with the suppliers for all those parts and uh, assemblies, potentially, that are being outsourced uh, or uh, just simply purchased as, uh, you know, uh, components into, uh, into the product. Um, and typically, right, uh, if an engineer decides, oh, well, I have, I need this ASIC from, uh, with that type of specification, this ASIC might be coming from different suppliers, so they have the whole cycle and on getting different price points uh, for those different suppliers um, into the equation, and uh, at some point there will be a selection of the supplier and so on. So you have prices coming in from the procurement organization, 
from the supply chain operations organizations when it comes to more outsourced manufacturing scenarios. And uh, depending on what type of customer you talk to, you also have other stakeholders like the sales uh, folks that are actually working with the customer to come up with an offer um, for a product or even a solution. And uh, they definitely need to work with the team in the background here to see, okay, well, what is the cost of this product or this offer? And what could be the margin on top of that that I can realize? And uh, how can I still negotiate with the customer? And maybe even they don't only look about the price, but they even are so closely intertwined uh, in that uh, quotation uh, related scenario that uh, the customer is even able to look at the cost perspective and not only at the price pricing model of uh, of the sales engagement here. And others are potentially involved, like the product managers, so, right? You have to be clear. Product line organization that cares overall about the solution. And I have some background noises in the line. I'm not sure where that comes from. Um, but, um, maybe not all lines are muted. Uh, so, yeah, we have quite a few stakeholders in this process and uh, typically up to now in this in this uh, you know in this very complex environment uh, there was not a great solution uh, available right so SAP SAP as such right when it comes to SAP ERP um, can do lots of things after start of production right so we have inventory evaluation ERP today we have production cost simulation that you can do to some extent um, you know, taking all the available data and really after start of production, you have all data available into account, right, to do some actual costing and so on. But really in the engineering phase, until start of production, people are struggling because you don't have all of the data readily available in your ERP environment and, and other environments even that populate, that uh, provide the, the key input for the cost estimate, right? So that is the materials, what are the materials that are being sourced, uh, what is the bill of material, even the design structure that you talk about, uh, what are the routing, um, the routings that are going to be used for the manufacturing the product, and the related pricing information, right, from component prices to activity prices, etc. So as SAP said, okay, well, let's fill this void uh, and tackle a couple of use cases with our solution, SAP product lifecycle costing. The first one being the preliminary cost estimate, right, as, as it relates to a pure engineering project, like a new product introduction project, or a continuous improvement project, okay? So very straightforward, I calculate for a lot size of one, 